Okay, next part on uh, using tight pads well. So I've been through the bits of the holding here, you know, in the, not in the middle, but on the edge, double end protected, you know, having this a little bit loose, which I'll explain another time. Yeah, uh, and then being in a fighting stance. So we don't do um, anything like this, we don't do neutral if we're square. Yeah. We also don't do neutral if you just check the feet. Yeah. Where we're flat like this, yeah, back up to the top, yeah, where we're here. Yeah, where it's like, I don't want it wide like this because that teaches people to swing off badly. I want it near target, yeah, um, so they get used to zoning in on it. Yeah, I also want it to be in this position where I'm in a fight stance where it's actually supported by my, my ribs as opposed to held by my hands. When it's held by my arms and shoulders, that's when it starts to drop. Yeah, so I want to be in a position where I'm in a fight stance so the other person is. There's a kind of osmotic uh, transfer that happens. Um, that being is like how I am is how that person will become. So if I'm lackluster and kind of slightly disinterested and waiting for my turn or you know, I'm not really focused and engaged, I don't brought any of me to it, uh, then that's what I'll get. I'll get a lackluster uh, response from them. So I have an intentionality. Yeah? I have a focus on them. My job basically is to make them great and make them feel strong and make them feel good. Yeah? So again, um, I said this in an earlier bit, if they're left, I'm in left. So if you look at my feet, yeah, my left my stance will be here, or it will be here. I'm also doing a thing, if I go for this one, to bring back up, so this would be jab. Initially, for real beginners, their proper perception is poor, so they don't know where their hand is going to end up. So you don't know either, so you go real, real slow, you go gentle, gentle, right? you go jab, you call it, you go cross. You put the pads away so that nobody's getting hurt accidentally. That's the worst thing to get in martial arts, it's accidental. So, I go here, I go jab. And look, it's in this position. But, I give a little just touch. I go cross, yeah, and I go jab cross, or I go one, two, I go one, two. And I go cross, I go hook, I go cross. And I bring it together, I go cross, hook, cross. Yeah, or I go hook, cross, hook. Across hook and the brain, so we build it slowly but surely. The other bit we then introduce with it, yeah, or you, this is Wayne's uh, only been training with me about six weeks, um, hasn't done any uh, tag boxing or kickboxing before, um, but he's a progressive really, really fast. So when I'm with this man, so if you go to the feet, yeah, if you look at the feet, yeah, he's in left, I'm in left, okay, so I'm moving in small steps so that he moves accordingly. So when I move in, he moves back. When I move back, he moves in. I move to the left, yeah, I move here. I don't do big movements. Yeah, have you, have you got a full body? Can you see full body? So if I, go, if I do big movements, yeah, it's too much for him. He's got to play catch up, so he never feels stable and strong. So I'm moving small, so he is. My focus is on him, my intent is on him. Yeah. So I'm strong, eyes are strong. My eyes are strong, his eyes are strong. 